Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So today, my last red fleshed apple for the season fell off the tree. And this one has been hanging for several weeks longer than my other apple, my last week's video. So I thought maybe this would be a pretty cool opportunity. You know, these apples are so special that I wanted to make another video about it. But since they've also been hanging for, this one has also been hanging for a couple weeks longer, you know, maybe it's even more red flashed, maybe it has even more flavor. So I just thought maybe, uh, you know, we could share this together. So something that I didn't mention in last video, but I did mention in the first video about my red fleshed apples is, and I wanted to recap it, is that this is only a second year tree, you know, second year in my care. So that means that it's actually flowering and producing fruit very, very early. Okay, now this could have many different reasons. It could be soil, it could just be really happy. I mean, it has to be really happy in order to, to really start setting fruit already. But, you know, maybe it's just more mature. I, I don't know, it, there's, there's could be a myriad of different reasons of why it's already flowering and producing fruit. But generally, this doesn't happen until three, four, possibly even five years in. So this is pretty unusual, but I'll take it. But what that does mean over the next years to come is that the red flesh, the flavor, and all that stuff, it's only gonna get better. It can get more developed, it can get even more tastier. So I wanted to, I wanted to mention that, I wanted you to bear that in mind, that this is really quickly, like this is very quick. So let that out of the way. Let's just uh, slice this guy open and see what the inside looks like. Let's see. Probably go like that. All right, that's it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, well. You can see it in the camera. Yes, dude. That is, oh, oh my God. That is juicy. It is actually dripping with juice. That's, that's awesome. So this one is, even more pigmented. I mean, it makes sense. It's been on the tree several weeks longer, but I mean, how cool is that? Now there's more pigment in the center of the apple. Okay, that's something that the other one didn't have quite as much. This one does. Wow. I gotta say, this looks delicious. I mean, how can you not want to just take a bite of that, you know? How beautiful is that? All right, so just like last time, let's take a bite and uh, see what it tastes like. I know that the last time that bottom area really gave me all that cherry and blackberry flavor. So I think uh, I'll work my way down there. Mm. I mean, so good. Now, this one did fall off the tree, which means it fell on its butt. <laughs> so it has a little bruise there, but it should be okay. Delicious. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna take another bite. Super juicy. Like, I should show you. If I squeeze this, the juice just comes right out. <laughs> See how juicy that is? Oh my god. So much juice. Um, the flavor, it's like an amazing apple, and I'm still getting the same type of flavors that I had last one. The last one, I do believe, was very much ripe. And I think uh, this right now is actually the time where it's supposed to be ripening. The middle of October-ish. So I do think that you know, this, that one already had a good amount of ripening on it. And um, with, with the ex very hot summer that we've had, it also more than likely contributed to it as well. So it's, um, it was ready to go. It doesn't actually taste too much like a sour cherry this time. It's, um, it doesn't have as much of that sourness that I got last time. I'm getting much more of just berry and apple. Obviously, a very strong apple flavor, but also more berry flavor rather than like that sour cherry flavor that I got last time. Mm. 
That is super red. All along the borders, in the middle now more too. Oh, and dripping with juice. I mean, one of the things I want to do with this apples in the future when I get many more apples of this is try to make some cider out of this. I think it's going to be a bomb bomb cider. We're going to definitely try that. Mm. Yeah, absolutely delicious. Very strong apple flavor, berry flavor, extremely juicy, amazing. So this has been awesome this year to get these fruits, but I am already excited for next year and see what, what it's gonna do next year for us. I'm going to be making pruning videos about these apples coming this winter. So look forward to that. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.